Hello everyone. Welcome to lecture on VHDL module for multiplexer and demultiplexer. At the end of this session, students will be able to analyze, design, and implement multiplexer and demultiplexer. Now, before starting with the actual session, let's pause the video and think about what is a sequential statement. So those are nothing but the if statements, case statements, and loop statements. Those statements are must be written in the inside the process because those statements are going to be executed sequentially one after another. Right? Now this is the eight s to one multiplexer. You can see over here eight s to one means eight inputs are there, one output. Right, so here eight inputs I zero, I one, I two, two, I seven. One output is Z. To select any one input to the output, we require select lines. So here S is a select line which is having three bits in it. Now because of the eight inputs are there, we require three select lines. So which is uh, calculated with the help of two raised to n equals to m. Now here m is nothing but your number of inputs. So to uh, validate that two raised to n equals to eight, we require n equals to three. So two raised to three equals to eight. So from that formula, you can uh, find out how many select lines should be uh, there in a design for particular inputs. So for eight inputs, we require three select lines and one output, right? So this is eight s to one marks. Now, this is the VHDL module for eight s to one multiplexer. Now, first two lines are supposed to be compulsory lines, which are must be written in a code. That is library declaration over there, which library you are using and which packages you are using. So, we are using library I triple and from that library, we are using package IEEE dot std logic one one six four. This is the package, right? And from that package, we are using all components, right? After that, second uh, main part of the VHDL module is entity. So here, entity, entity name, we are writing for it is to one multiplexer. So max it is. Uh, in the entity, we have to write the port declaration, port declaration which specify or gives the uh, description about what are the inputs and what are the outputs to your device or system. So uh, we already saw that in 8s to 1 multiplexer, 8 inputs are there and 1 output plus additionally 3 input select lines. Right? So I0 to I7 are the input which is a type of bit. Then after that S is a select line which is a type of bit vector. This is a syntax to define or write a vector signal which is having multiple bits in that. So S is a type of vector 2 down to 0. This is a one type or syntax you can declare vector as a 2 down to 0 or you can write 0 to 2 either way possible. After that you have Z is output which is also type bit single bit value it is there so that's why it is bit. This one is a multi-bit value signal. So that's why it is a bit vector, right? Then entity n. After that comes architecture part, architecture, architecture name of entity name. This entity name we have to use over here is then begin. Now in the architecture, we have to write the behavior of our design, right? So it is to one we are writing. So we how to use the sequential statements so for that we need a process so process after begin architecture begin process is there in the process inside the bracket we have to write the sensitivity list sensitivity list is nothing but the signal which are going to affect the execution of your output system design right so process then sensitivity list in that we having signals i0 i12 I7 and also select line which is going to affect the output right after that process begin then because of 8 
inputs available and depending on the combination of three select lines three bit select line we going to say uh, get the output so for that we using case statement so case signal s for s signal we having three bits so we have eight possible combinations so case s is when it is 0 0 0 means three bits of s signals are 0 0 0 in that case z means output is equals to i 0 so i 0 is going to be connected to output when the select line having all the three bits are 0 similarly when the select line having 0 0 1 in that case z is equals to i 1 so this is the syntax for assigning right and this is the syntax where you have to use when you are using a case statement right so this is the second case similarly you can write for remaining possible combinations so eight combinations are there up to 1 1 1 output z equals to i c 1 if the select line is not having from this possible combination it is not 0 0 0 it is not 0 0 1 it is not 1 0 0 it is not 1 1 it is not among these combination other than these combination in that case we have to write one more that is when others my z is equals to 0 so 0 directly assigned to the output after that we have to end the case so end case once you done with the case statement then you have to end the process so because we started process here so end process then after you have to write the end architecture right so this is the bhdl module for 8s21 multiplexer this model can be verified with the help of uh, simulation so to write the uh, vhdl model i use the xilinx software and for to verify I use the simulation which is having inbuilt in the Xilinx that is called iSIM simulator. So this is the output for your uh, 8s21 multiplexer. So here you can see that when all inputs having value 0 but the select line is 0 0 0 means first input is connected. So output to the output so output equals z equals to 0 in this case. Here the values those are showed whatever the where the cursor it is. So don't get confused. If you consider this situation over here, input all inputs are 0 and the select lines are 0 0 0 over here. That's why the output get connected to the i0. Now the select line still 0, all bits are 0, but the input I made over here is 1 at i0. So that one is reflected at the output. Same. If I change now select lines from 0, 0, 0 to 0, 0, 001 and still I am having I0 input signal is 1 remaining 0 and the output is still get connected to the now because of the select line is 0, 0, 001 it get connected to the I1 so I1 is 0 so that's why the output is 0. Now still select line having 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 001 now I made I1 1 so output changed to I1 right 1. So this is how you can verify the VHDL module whatever you created for the uh, your design with the help of simulation using these waveforms. Now let us go for the multiple demultiplexer. So now we just studied the 8s to 1 multiplexer now let us go for the 1s to 8 demultiplexer. This is the D multiplexer 1 is to 8 which is having 1 input and 8 output reverse version of your multiplexer in the multiplexer you are having 8 inputs 1 output here you are having 1 input 8 output remaining working is same 3 select lines and additional part is clock is there instead of clock it is mentioned as G right so let us go for the VHDL model same first two lines are library include declaration then entity part here now the input is single only one so and one clock is there so it is type of bit again s, b, s signal which is a type of vector so 2 down to 0 3 bits 8 output so out 0 to out 7 out type is of again bit 
entity ends now architecture architecture begin again process process here single input signal bit signal s and i right now here we have clocked included g as a clock so if g equals to 0 means whenever they my clock signal is 0 then and then i am having the further processing so in that again case statement now depending on the combination of select line we have eight different combinations and my output will be connected to the input line so which output is connected uh, that depends on the combination of s signal so out zero is uh, your input is going to be connected to out zero when the select line is having zero 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 input is connected to out six line when the s signal having combination one one zero after that once you done with the, all the combinations of your case statement end case then end if after that end process and end architecture right uh, this is the simulation output for 1s to 8 d multiplexer you can verify that uh, with the help of these waveforms now depending on the select line these bits your input is going to be connected to one of the output so now here it is 0 0 0 so because of that it is get connected to 0 now input becomes 1 so input get connected to this out 0 because still s bit is having 0 0 0 these are the references Thank you.